Good morning. It's morning of day one of a five day trip. Uh, about a 42, 43 mile uh, loop that will take me um, through some familiar territory, some new territory. It's kind of a modified North Lake, South Lake loop. I'm going to go over Lamarck Cole today and down to Darwin Bench, which is probably by far the hardest day. So I'm kind of a glutton for punishment, I guess, doing that. Um, about 3,700 feet of gain with a full pack on day one. So uh, I guess it's good to get the hard stuff out of the way first. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know when I make it to camp how that plan worked out. But yeah, once I link into the JMT, I'm going to hang a left um, and then just continue to uh, my exit of South Lake. So connecting the dots, I've been um, over Lamarck Cole probably 10 years ago doing um, a North Lake, North Lake loop and then been over Bishop Pass to explore Juicy Basin. So it'll be nice to connect the dots but yeah so far so good really nice weather we'll see how the legs hold up but i'll fill you in with more well we have almost made it we've got lamar cole in the background pretty much just a little left to center probably um actually have a individual going up that snowfield right now there's a <clears throat> group of three uh, in front of me that i caught up with and then they blew right by me after we had a nice little break but um a little surprised to see people up here but that's really nice. There's a group of two behind me, so good to have company. But yeah, it's 
I think that <clears throat> climb of Silliman, that butt kicking from a couple weeks ago really helped me because it hasn't been that bad. I mean, it's it's a, a slog all the way. It's uh, it is from Upper Lamarck. Sorry for the wind. Uh, as if I control it. <laughs> um, but from Upper Lamarck, it's about another 2,000 feet. So it's about 37 feet in total um, to the coal. So uh, high point on trail. So it's all downhill from here. So I'll fill you in when I get into camp. All right. It's about 5.30. Um, we've been in camp since maybe 4. So, very, very long day, um, but very rewarding. I did a great job, if I say so myself, of just setting a really good slow pace and just sticking to it all day. So, I actually felt really good towards the, or for the better part of the day, um, towards the end. It was a little rough, all the <coughs> lakes up here in Darwin Venture rock line, so it's kind of a pain to get in and around those but um yeah found a pretty good spot um <clears throat> right by the lake it's uh pretty windy as you can see from my tent here um so it's getting cold definitely gonna be an early night i'm thinking dinner at six probably in the tent at seven um sleep by 7 30 but uh we shall see but yeah great great day uh, more to come tomorrow all right it's morning uh day two just cruising through Darwin bench, it's about 8.45 or so. Had a good night's sleep, packed up, hit the road. So today will be a much relatively easier day. Gonna link into the JMT here in maybe about a mile and hang a left and then be on new terrain for me. I haven't made it past pretty much the outlet of um, Evolution Lake before. So today I'll take me over Mirror Pass and down to Lake, I think it's 11939, something like that, but it's just below the black giant, which I'm going to try to hit tomorrow. But uh, yeah, good morning. So I'll fill you in with more. All right, it is morning of day three here. Uh, I did not fill you in with the end of day two because it was pretty much impossible due to the wind. It was howling really, really good, pretty much from Mirror Pass all the way down. Um, and that being said, I did not. Uh, stick to my plan. Uh, the lake I was intending to stay at underneath the Black Giant was completely barren, rock bound, would not have been a fun place to hang out. And then Black Giant, as uh, interesting as the view sounded, uh, it just looked like junky, kind of scree, so not super fun. So long story short, pushed it another four miles, uh, almost down to Star Camp, uh, which will shorten my uh, day today and tomorrow significantly. But uh, the wind thankfully stopped around, I don't know, probably around like 8, but made setting up camp fun, making dinner kind of fun. It's a little extra crispy uh, with all the dust blowing around, but um, slept pretty well, had company, had two other people that were looking just as tired as I was. Um, we all just crashed out super early, so um, it's about 9 now, I'm about to hit the trail, so fill you in with more. All right, well, just leaving Lacan Canyon here, heading up the trail towards Bishop Pass. I've had a really nice break down by the creek and the ranger station. Just got a bunch of water in me and just hung out. Aired out the feet and socks and all that stuff preparing for this big climb. So I'm going to break it up into two days, two leisurely days. I think I'm just going to aim for Lower Doozy Basin today, which will be about three and a half miles up. So see how we go when I make camp. I'll let you know. All right, well, it is the end of day three here. <clears throat> We've got some uh, up and glow showing up on the Palisades over here. So really nice show. Um, I'm super, super glad I pushed maybe an extra half hour or so, maybe an extra, you know, four, 600 feet of gain to get to um, this uppermost lake. It's not really named on the map, but it's pretty close to one on the other side of the ridge. That's, uh, I think it's 11,393. Um, but Alec and I stayed up here um a million years ago um so i knew there were some good spots um found a different spot than we had but um super nice just hanging out got here around three o'clock so not super late um went for a swim cleaned up feel a lot better about myself did some laundry um had a good dinner just now and then maybe a little bit of fireball and then climb into the sleeping bag and go to bed because it is almost hiker midnight here it's about seven o'clock so 
Morning day four here. Um, well, technically still morning, but just about afternoon. It's about 11:45. Um, again, like I talked about yesterday, broke up the climb in two parts. Um, really happy that I did that because I only have about 600 feet to the pass, which is kind of right there, just in the foreground, right before the inconsolable range there, uh, aptly named. But uh, yeah, I got about 600 feet to the pass, and then I'm just going to drop and uh, make camp one more night. Um, Pitts and Alec aren't coming in until tomorrow, so I don't want to... If I had a car down at the trailhead, I'd probably go. But I don't. Uh, I'm relying on that shuttle, so uh, I'm just going to go about like four miles today, set up camp, relax, just chill, um, and then I'll have about four and a half out um, the following day on Saturday. Uh, and then they'll be picking me up to South Lake. So yeah, we'll fill you in as the day uh, progresses, but gorgeous spot. Super glad I got to spend a lot of time here just relaxing and reading. So very enjoyable. My feet especially loved it. All right, it's afternoon, uh, day four, about 2.15, just past where I was intending to camp. Um, Saddle Rock Lake, these are, well, one of the timberline tarns behind me. So as is always the case with my trips, it seems, um, I'm gonna come out a day early. Uh, I had reception up at Bishop Pass, so I called Alec, checked his ETA, and it's gonna line up pretty close to my exit if I were to push all the way out, which isn't much. It's like an extra four miles, so not the end of the world. Um, it's all downhill, of course. Cause yeah, I feel good. There's no real sense in setting up camp. I'm trying to duck the sun all day, only to basically sleep, wake up, and then have those guys have to drive from June Lake down to come get me. So win-win, I think. And plus he said there's burgers and beers for dinner. So there you go. Case closed, I'm in. So I'll uh, fill you in with more once I exit, but cruising along now, just setting a good slow pace so I don't get too excited and crap out before I get there. <laughs> All right, just gonna wrap up the trip. Um, I'm back here at home. Um, had a great trip. Just wanted to catch you up from that last video. Um, just after I recorded it, probably about another mile down the road um, or trail um, above Spearhead Lake, uh, bumped into a, a very nice individual, um, kind of got to chatting. And uh, not only did he offer to give me a ride back to the car, um, which saved me about three hours of just um, waiting for Alec and Pitts and saved them some driving, um, but got to hike the last three and a half miles out with a really cool guy, um, Steve. He's a retired teacher from Huntington, but we just got to talking about trails and you know history and leave no trace and all sorts of stuff. So he's a really cool guy, so very much um, appreciated. So Steve, if you're watching, thank you very much for the ride. Um, and that got me up to June Lake. Uh, actually ended up beating Alec and Pitts. Uh, got there just as it was getting dark. Uh, got a fire going, got the tent set up, all that good stuff. Uh, they came in, we had a nice meal of burgers and beers. Uh, and then the next day, uh, went for a nice little hike, uh, and then headed to, of course, the June Lake Brewery. Um, had a giant burrito, had a couple beers, and then just went and hung out in camp. Uh, went and soaked in the lake for a little bit. Uh, had a nice fire. It was a little windy that last night, but uh, not too bad. Then just packed up and headed home. Um, just dro drove over uh, Tioga. So uh, all in all, a very, very nice trip. Uh, really happy to have connected all those dots. And as always, a another great trip in the book.